Oh man, scary. Okay, we have to be still in her palace, right? The theory's right. I feel it. I feel it in my balls. I have to choose my name again, too. Got all these police guys, too. It just like completely messed Guess me up. The drug was too strong. Wake him up. Yeah, these guys were kind of intense. It's like I'm back in my normal clothes, but I feel like it's because they don't see me as a threat anymore, maybe. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! And then again, I guess she's doing all this, so. <laughs> it's a bit confusing what? as well. You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you huh? thinking it can be used as video evidence? Of course not. What do you mean? Yeah. Um. <laughs> video evidence to show that you're beating the shit out of me? Oh man, I feel like these might actually be kind of important. Uh, I'll just be a little so bitch. So you're not that dumb. Which is good, because we get to take as much time as we need! Ugh, God. <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty much a badass. You should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. <laughs> Choose your name again. I understand. Just want to be as compliant as possible so they don't beat me up. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. To really choose my name again? Okay, no. <laughs> I was like, is it really gonna be like, what's your name? Oh, what's your name, Weibo? You figured it out yet? Yeah, I feel like we're in the metaverse. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't really see any any changing or anything like that, so I, I feel like that's still the case. Excuse me, but this area is off. Unless, like, right when we escaped is um, when it turned back into the police station, I guess. But uh, I was still in my still in my uh, Joker clothes, so I don't, I don't think that's the case. I didn't change clothes until right when I uh, got back in here. They surrounded me, and then I ran away, or tried to run away, and then that guy hit me, and then maybe I woke up in the real world, and that's when the actual cops found me, like, in the real world, and now here's Sai here, <laughs> interrogating me and all that, and that's how it connects. And then, you know, the traitor sold us out and told the cops in the real world, and it kind of related to what happened in the palace. I don't know, I'm still kind of leaning towards my palace theory, though. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. That's what I'm leaning towards. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You prosecutor sign Nijima. There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Uh, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation. I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I mean, maybe we're in the real world. I don't know. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. I guess I'll just kind of wait to find out. Sorry if I seem kind of quiet, too. I don't really 100% know what to say. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you, then. <laughs> that was easy. I won't be expecting much, though. Damn. Uh, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. 
Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <laughs> That's what you think. I got a whole 200 hour story coming up right in the pit of my belly and I'm gonna tell it all over again. And Weeby's gonna start from the very beginning. <laughs> that would be hilarious if it really was just like a loop. Every time you get back to that part, just keep starting over and over and over. <sighs> it's a commentary on the justice system or something. It's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. We're okay with you doing it since we don't really care if you die or not. I understand. Igor. <laughs> well done on making it this far, inmate. Ah, uh, yes, new stuff. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. Oh, I'm so nervous. If you want to win this unreasonable game, if you wish to take back your stolen future, Recall the bonds you formed with your allies. Okay. And grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. Use them in battle, I assume? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's a pop quiz. Damn it. Oh, man. I see. Casino of Jealousy, shut down. Oh, man. All the way to the present. God, that's crazy. So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the Hero of Justice. Come on, that's why you gotta join us and stuff. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Hmm. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. Okay. A deal? What do you want? Uh, <laughs> well, I did change your heart, so I want to trust you. What do you want, though? I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. Okay, so we actually did fail to change your heart? So we're definitely not in the palace still? I guess the traitor could have told them about the metaverse and everything, and then they came in and got me. Like, literally the cops came into the metaverse and then took me out. I guess that's always a possibility, too. I hadn't really thought about that all that much. But it seems like we, we failed. Or did we? I don't know. I'm so, like, um, not trusting of, like, anything being said right now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Okay. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. <laughs> you actually don't have to say anything about him. We all pretty much realized it almost immediately. He talks about being a Phantom Thief a lot. One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, On Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. Yeah, we're all pretty obvious, aren't we? And the frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Very true, you forgot a catchy though. Kind of. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? I guess he's kind of like an honorary member. No, never heard of him. That's right. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I probably should work with her. I mean, I told her my whole story, right? What's the worst that can happen now? Uh, I guess I'll just go with it. Am I really making the right choice? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you giving me so many options, game? Can't be. <laughs> so you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. It was all so true. Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? 
Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? There were no such people. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, it's probably better to not sell anybody out. I don't know, I'm still like hopeful that she's like had a change of heart somehow, but I guess it's not the case. Sorry if that last kind of like initial answer seemed dumb. I just, I don't know, I kind of wanted to be hopeful that maybe like uh, her deal would be good. Like um, she could help get us out of it in some way, but um, I guess she might have just been trying to lighten, lighten my sentence basically. So I'll just cover, cover my ass. There's no such people. I see. I'll just defend everybody to the death. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Let's discuss one other person, Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. You don't mind selling him out. Might he be a part of your team too? Nope, not Akechi. That's impossible. Not my Akechi. So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. That's right. I don't know a thing. Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Does that mean you're gonna join us? Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? Because I love them. Goes against justice, it's wrong, it's a dirty tactic. Maybe she would be willing to join us or, you know, stop this if I do say it's all for justice. I'm gonna go with that. Don't be ridiculous. You're not the one to decide such things. You call this justice? Justice on our side. Justice? Come on. Then tell me, what is this justice you speak of? Sticking to the right path, saving others, not forgiving pro criminal, not forgiving criminals. I'm so bad at answering questions. Oh man, I feel like saving others would resonate the most with her since she was so upset about her dad dying. So maybe like uh, that could maybe resonate with her somewhat. Saving others? What an awfully simple response. Uh, <sighs> you continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? Can't you give me, like, music notes or something, Sai? Come on, please, pretty please. You're right. We have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. <sighs> the truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. You still doubt me? Are you leaving it here? What about the true culprit? After all this, you're still... The drug is starting to wear off. Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. I won't be deceived. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. You realized it too then. Yeah, these things that um were coming up before. It is like forgotten memories. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? Ah, oh, god dang it. So it is gonna end up being a catchy, isn't it? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Damn, Morgana, you're so smart. You caught onto that shit too. You didn't even have to edit the video. Hey, can you hear me? It seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Come on, Sai. Give me a chance. You seem to be. You know, chilling with me before, giving me confidant rank ups. We were having a good old time. You're giving up? Don't you want to win? <laughs> kind of feel like that might make her mad. You're giving up. I'll do that. I think it's a safer answer. Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. Interrogation room? That's right. If I remember. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Special interrogation room. Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Okay, so this was all a setup to lure her? Okay. So it's all, all going according to Kaikaku? 
Hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Do you know this place? Is this what you planned? Why did you come here? Man, I wish I could see the, uh... Okay, I can see the flashback again. When did she mention a special interrogation room? Do you know this place? Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. Mm -hmm. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. Okay. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? Yes. That's true. Who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? Sold out. That's right, there's something I need to do. My suspicions were true in the end. Still, to think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. Hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. Oh man, I'm still so confused. Definitely accusing Akechi to be the traitor, for sure, which I feel like was pretty, pretty obvious. Still think his intention was to sell us out. I guess a way to sell him out back? That's all I can really think of. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. All right, hand it over. You do it, Morgana. Hand it over. The smartphone, duh. We've been talking about it this whole time. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. Okay. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? I'm starting to remember. I might. I want to make a deal with you. I'm guessing we're trying to get Akechi to touch the touch the phone? I feel like that might be a little too forward. Oh man, I'm so bad at like answering answering questions. I might have to redo this. I feel like I'm gonna like, get a bad end or something. I kind of lean towards this one even though it's kind of bold. <gasps> yes, very well. Go on. If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. The confiscated item, the phone. That right there. The phone. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? I don't really understand. We're trying to get a catchy to touch the phone? Doesn't he already have it on his phone? <laughs> what would be the point of him touching it again? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Oh, it's like a trap then, maybe? Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Okay, so that makes more sense. If it's like an actual trap and not like just the metaverse app, I was like, what's the point of like showing the metaverse app? Like, I don't know. Okay, okay, I think I think I get it more now. Him, show it. What are you talking about? Makoto and the others should have told you. I'm talking about the true culprit here. You know, the traitor. Hey, what are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? Show it to the traitor. Show it to the true culprit. It's gotta be a catchy, and he's gotta be both. So show it. Show it to the traitor. The traitor? We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Oh my God! <laughs> That's his voice, isn't it? You piece of shit trying to murder me, Jesus! And I called you beautiful. I loved you once, even though I always, always thought you were a sketchy, pretty much the whole time. Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Okay, so he was the one who wanted the, the special interrogation room where Weibo's brains can get blown out. Ah, oh, Makachi. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Oh god, you're such a fucking piece of shit, Akechi. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? Not a teammate. I already told you. I already told you, man. Show to that piece of shit. What do you... <gasps> My god. You're referring to him, aren't you? I think so. Just show it. You need to trust me. Come on, Sai. Trust me. 
mine. What are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. Take the phone, kill him, or do whatever... <laughs> whatever shit that phone's gonna do to him. This will be my last involvement with this case. <laughs> Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. Thanks, Sai. I just need to show him the phone, right? Ah, oh, good. You listen to me. I feel as if Sai finally understands me. Oh, thank God. I don't know if there is a bad end for this conversation, I but <laughs> I had a really, really bad feeling that there was. I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't know how to answer this stuff right. There's no music notes to guide me. Thy bond shall the wings <laughs> I guess then again, I'm not 100% sure if that is the case or not. Thou hast awakened to Looks the like uh, the Max Drink with her now, though, too. The infinite power. True justice. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Take that shit, Akechi. Oh, man. I definitely had a feeling that he was the black mask guy and the traitor. He's just, like, so suspicious, and I feel like even if I wouldn't have heard the pancake line, I still definitely would have thought he was a traitor no matter what. And I feel like it makes the most sense for him to be the black mask guy person as well, because he's just, like, the most suspicious, you know? Like, like I said, the only other person I could assume it could be would be Shido, but I don't really feel like that would be all that big of a reveal either, because it's like, oh, that obviously, obviously evil guy on the screens. Yeah, apologies if my reaction wasn't too big, it was just kind of like, I assume that he probably was at this point. Was basically the only person I, I suspected. But yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with it, you know? Like, uh, what his character's like now, knowing that he's a fucked up piece of shit. And we got True Justice to show it, show it again, to catch it, rub it in his face. All right. Beautiful hair. Next rank, experience, Iconiverse, True Justice. All right. <laughs> you can now fuse Satan. <laughs> oh, goody. Wow. Thanks, Sai. <laughs> I think that's a bad sign when your most powerful persona is Satan. And you thought you got Satan in the last video, Weebo. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so funny. <sighs> oh my god. I'll be going now. What good will this do, though? You'll see. And I'll see, too. Assuming it's gonna save my ass. Oh, you piece of shit. A catchy gun? Wh why are you here? Should have known, just based off the fact she looked like Light Yagami. Can never trust any any beautiful anime boys. Why do you seem so surprised? I'm kinda scared of him now. I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. <laughs> How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team after. Oh! So you're the head of the investigation team now. Isn't that interesting? It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well. Don't you think? Get him to touch the phone, Sai, please. He's gonna fucking kill me. <gasps> they assigned you command? Oh my god. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. <laughs> okay, I seriously believed him for a second. <laughs> I was like, isn't that fucking interesting? The SIU director would appoint you, huh, buddy? Okay, no, he's not. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. <laughs> yeah, fucking right, you bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? The traitor. You're referring to him, aren't you? Yeah, you got on. Is there a problem? I feel like there is a bad ending if you don't figure it out. Akechi-kun, does this phone look familiar to you? <laughs> hmm? Excuse me? Touch it. 
What is this phone? He sent something off about it. It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Come on, just touch it. Just a little bit, please. Good luck in there. Ah, oh, man. Oh no! Foolish. Look at evil laugh! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you look even more like Lai Yagami now. Didn't even think that was possible. Oh my god, that face. Fucking twisted looking. Now he's gonna shoot me in my head. Great. Great job, Sai. Way to, way to hand him the phone. <laughs> May I ask that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Oh, shut up. Huh? What? what are you- Oh, shit! I'm next, I guess. I owe you for all of this. Thanks. <laughs> Way to fuck up your answers, buddy. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan. And now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. Oh my god, what are you up to? Ketchy has unveiled his true identity. My bond with Akechi has grown deeper. <laughs> We're best friends now. This is so cute. Rank 8. Oh, All rank right. 8? Really? I thought it'd be like maxed out. Can't get much deeper than showing that you're evil to me. Oh, anime cutscene. Oh, fuck. Is that why you guys have gloves on? Have you finally pieced it all together? No fingerprints. <laughs> oh, God! It's closed. This is how your justice ends. Oh, no. Come on! <laughs> Think of something good to do! Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ted. Oh my god. It's gotta be like a bad end or something, right? Or some way for me to get out of this? Jesus. Nope, it's still going! <laughs> Thought I would get an end screen by now. I guess not. I guess I'm just fucking dead. Oh boy. <laughs> that's that's great. I don't know, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just keep going. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> God, you're so evil looking. Uh. I was gonna say that the guard went in there by himself. <laughs> Come on, Weebo, I know you got something else up your sleeve. Right? You had to have protected yourself somehow, right? Figured some kind of persona power to get out of this. Shido san. My job is complete. Uh, and of course it's Shido who's like the the big big bad, of course. I don't I don't understand. I feel like this has gotta be like a bad end or something, but it keeps it keeps on going, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if Igor's gonna revive me or um if uh, this bad end's really long or if Weebo's just fucking dead. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep going. And of course, yeah, Shido's gotta be the guy who was using us to, you know, propel his popularity. That definitely makes sense. I've told you not to call me by name. Don't out me, twerp. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. Oh, God. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> he looks so evil in every sprite now. I considered making it appear they had a falling out. But that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. They're not gonna reveal our names to the public, right? They just plan on killing us all one by one, I would assume, you know? And then just have kind of like the public forget about us. That's what I would assume, at least. I feel like that would cause, you know, the least, least amount of frenzy. Unless, you know, our names and stuff have already kind of gotten out. 
Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. <laughs> They're nothing but cattle anyway. <laughs> they have no backbone without his guidance. Got your fucking face, Akechi. It's so punchable. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. Oh, Jesus. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Why are you working with him, too? I guess his justice is really corrupt. I like, I don't really understand how he is justifying this at all. I mean, unless he really does think Shido is amazing and he really is gonna make Japan great again. So all this is cool, you know? I can kill as many people as I want. It's totally justified. As long as my man Shido is in office. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Gotta tell all my adoring fans how I feel, you know? Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. Wow. Even kill him, too. Damn. You guys are fucking evil, so it really is just you and Shido at the top. Tippy tippy top of this. This, uh, conspiracy. Ah! Oh, yeah, middle shut down. No. It can't be. Honestly, bro, that's what you get for working with them in the first place. Ah! Even me. Oh, gosh. gosh. Damn it. Oh, man, his eyes. They always look so fucked up when they die. Shh. Shh. Oh, God. <sighs> Come on, Sai. What was all that about showing him this phone? The phantom thief Alibaba? Who is this? I am Alibaba, a member of the phantom thieves. I inquire as to your justice, Sai Nijima. How do they know I have this? Was this, was this the plan all along, guys? I didn't fuck up, right? Goro Akechi is evil. Most definitely. He didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief. He came to kill him. Okay, we already knew that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is like all a part of the plan and it's like, that's why we put a bulletproof uh, vest on his head and hit it really, really well. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? When did we uh, hear him say that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence though. Oh yeah, you're gonna find me. Find me just dead. Don't trust the guard either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. Come on, Futaba. You must save him. You want me to save him? Am I still alive? Like, barely? What was that thing with Sojuro too? Is he in on this? Kind of like uh, brushed over it. Like for a second, I was thinking it was just like not dad soldier having some not dad vibes. That is not son's dead, but maybe maybe he's in on this too, since he he knows you know where the phantom thieves. So I guess he could be the one controlling Alibaba right now. I'm kind of kind of thinking that might be the case. I don't know where Futaba is or if she's even able to be controlling Alibaba right now. So I'm kind of assuming that's that's what's going on. Apologies if I've been like quiet at all too, it's a lot to take in, so I'm kind of like trying to pay really close attention to like what everyone's saying. What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? Oh uh, yeah, so he's gonna basically be like, no, no, we stopped by, definitely not the sweet, beautiful, tight, tight buttocks, guru, catchy, oh, those long locks, I would let him have me. Yeah. Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's 
all true. Yeah. Of course it's true. Is <laughs> something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you? But... You know, if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. Yeah. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes, ma'am. They're fucking crazy, man. You should have seen his twisted ass smile. And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our another anime cutscene. This morning, the police have announced that they've Why detained no subtitles? a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young John, man can I get you to look uh, over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. Dang. How about we have you do an idle thing, you know? Tied for cool? them. So they can make it through. Do I play for Taba now? <laughs> like, I don't understand. I guess Sai is gonna save me somehow? I guess so. It looks pretty dead. Well, I'll be! Huh? Goodness, look at you now! It's been a while, Ryuji. Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd uh, love to see you run again. Everybody's so sad. Unless they know. Also, the young man continues know the true to plan. Silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for <laughs> once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. <sighs> Thinking about me, Yusuke? Normal. Right. Yeah. He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. <laughs> Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets oh, yeah. have gone comatose. Chat of some sort. Actual wish I could read it. Given the lack of oh, Futaba, I miss you. I wish I wasn't mystery. dead. Regardless, the police are looking into it. They're probably dead. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And your student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. Hmm. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why yeah. he turned to a life of crime. To help the world. Just like her. We also so somber. That the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous please, record, please save me, Sai. He had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. Oh, God. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Why is she with him? Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. Oh, man. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. <laughs> no, Ari, don't go back to him. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This yeah. station will continue. I don't to think this is part of a big plan. <laughs> Unless it is just, you know, Futaba and me and Morgana in on it. It can't be. But they should have known as well. I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't. You're shitting me. Yeah. We got him. Okay, it is. <laughs> they're all acting so dramatic. I was like, okay, it's not a plan. It's not a plan, guys. I'm so, I'm so lost. <laughs> Am I dead or not? Oh, thank God. 
It would seem as though you have been killed. All going according to Kai Kaku. We all like Yagami to catch you at his own game. <laughs> oh, thank God. I was really scared for a little bit. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like, am I going to die and start playing as Futaba for the rest of the game? Like, I don't understand. I was also thinking that, yeah, like, the conversation I had with Sai, like, that must have contributed to me having, like, a bad end of some sort. <laughs> but it was going on for so long. I was like, maybe, maybe I am saved. I don't know, 100%. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? I don't know. Do you remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Yeah, yeah, very true. Indeed, your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. Yeah, yes, the death was also a part of the plan as well. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure for a little bit. I knew like the haziness had to do with me. Forgetting memories and like we wanted to catch you to touch the phone and all that. But I guess like uh I don't know. They just kinda made it to where like um it made it seem like I wanted to catch you to get the phone, but it actually was supposed to go to Sai, who's supposed to save me after a catch you killed me. It's a crazy plan, guys. Crazy plan. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. And incredibly complicated. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Bonds of friendship. Well then. Let us rouse the memories which are missing. Okay, cool. Everything can become clear now. <laughs> Definitely was kind of confusing for a while. The first time I sensed something was off. That's right, it was during the school festival. Yeah, the thing with Morgana. Morgana's basically like, I don't trust this piece of shit. Hey, they're going. You realized it too, then. Yeah. Pancakes. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? The pancakes were the true culprit the whole fucking time. I can't believe it. There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. We can't trust him. I think he's lying. He's up to something. Can't trust that piece of shit. My thoughts exactly. It was your social studies trip. We met him in the hallway of that TV station. There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. Yeah. This whole deal feels sketchy. <laughs> A sketchy, one might say. He's suspicious. Let's do some research. We should be careful. Definitely suspicious. Yeah. It's impossible not to think that of him. I mean, he just, like, exudes a sketchiness. It even goes with his name pretty well. A sketchy. Okay. Let's get everyone on the same page right away. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible... I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Ah, uh, okay. So that's where we got that, um, audio note. Hmm, that'll be tough. We really need it. Is there any way? You can do it, Futaba. You can do it. Believe in I you, agree. waifu. <laughs> that was that face towards hmm. me. I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. She looked really, uh, annoyed at me. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. Yeah. Mm, okay, I've got a plan. That's perfect. What kind of plan? Keep it in a secret? Did you understand that? Keep it in a secret from me? Don't worry, I'll tell you the details later. <laughs> or Futaba will. Futaba is going to do something. I wonder if it'll be okay. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. Guess I gotta die. Oh well. <laughs> It'll be nice to get our vengeance on him. I see. So we're going to use this place. Uh, okay, so we broke in somehow? It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. So the special interrogation room was special on our part. Not theirs. It seems you finally remember. Okay. God, we are so smart. 
This game is not over yet. Ah, oh, that's good. There are still things that must be done. People who must be revived. My memories are starting to become clearer. That's right. This is what really happened to me at that moment. Come on. Wake up, Weibo. Are we still in the palace? It's gotta be why he disappeared, right? That was a fluke? Huh. Huh. I don't know, I still don't understand! Would you like to save your current progress? Yes. So I guess maybe we are in the palace, since you just kind of disappeared, you know, like a shadow would. And then I didn't look bloody anymore, so I guess it was just kind of like a fake that he, uh, shot instead? I'm guessing. Pam 170. Crazy. We do need new authority. The truth lost the void. 3%. Almost 2. Everybody thinks I'm dead. I heard they arrested one of the Phantom Thieves! No way! I didn't expect him to commit suicide. He's a murderer! He deserved to die! We can finally breathe easy now. He killed himself, huh? I guess we'll never know his motivation. You'll find out. You'll all find out. Oh man, this has all been so, so crazy. I'm exhausted. Guess I'm able to escape pretty easily now that everybody thinks I'm dead. I feel like my consciousness is about to fade away. <sighs> hey, are you alright? Don't fall asleep until we reach our destination. Are you listening? Could this be the effect of the drug wearing off? The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back. Okay, more memories. Are you listening? I am. What were you talking about? <laughs> I need a recap. You weren't paying attention? Well, I guess I can see how you'd be lost in thought right now. Anyways, we need to talk about how to get out of the situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a plot to frame the fan of thieves and kill Weibo. What a dick. I wonder if we'll have to go in his palace. Does he even have a palace? Is that even possible? I guess it isn't, since he uh, has a persona. How do we- how do we take him down? Dang. If we go into Sis's palace, as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone, I now know what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality to into the palace. Okay, yeah, so it was what I was like. Lastly, thinking that they just came into the metaverse, basically. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not conceivable to think a larger group is possible. Did we in fact succeed though, changing Sai's heart? Because she said we failed, but um, we did still defeat her shadow and all that. I don't know if like the police force kind of like uh, interrupted that. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us? He made us go after Okamura, then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time! Yeah, man, that story was total bullshit. What was that story again? It was like, um, super dramatic. Like, I ran to the black mask guy and he pinned me down, and he put the gun to my face, and I said, not today, I will succeed for justice, or some crap like that. And like, at the same time, is he also in charge of like, the, um, psychotic breakdowns too? Because I mean, uh, they are two different things, but I assume that it's also caused by going to the metaverse and fucking things up. Maybe he just like, fucking things up in Mementos. Like, maybe if you kill the people in Mementos, they don't die necessarily in real life, but instead they just have a breakdown, because it's like, they're not fully evil, it's not a full palace. So maybe, maybe that's why they have breakdowns. So what, what would his purpose be of going in there and just like uh, giving people psychotic breakdowns? Maybe he does, you know, target specifically train conductors and stuff to kill more people? Because um, I remember it was like a subway train uh, that was a guy that had a psychotic breakdown. It was always cars and stuff too. Oh, that would make sense if that was the case. But what would the point of him like killing people really be? Just um, to make us look worse or to like cleanse the population of evil? I don't know, like... 
Maybe he is really only believing that like a small portion of people are like truly good. So we need to weed out some of the lesser uh, people, like maybe the poor people, the people that have to use public transportation. I'm not really sure. I know I'm rambling like severely on right now, but I'm just kind of curious to know how he justifies this since he's the Justice Arcana. The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Come on, we gotta take that bastard to catch you down. Isn't that recording we got enough proof to do it? No, Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand mastermind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have of learning his identity? Maybe Futaba bugging his phone and stuff? We'll have to make Akechi say it. But once we do that, mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will... I think that will be the case eventually regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he might opt to kill us immediately. Damn it, so we don't get a choice but to go to that bastard's suggestion. But if we do go to the palace as told, we will get arrested and then murdered by Akechi. Palace. The palace! Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding... Aha! We can use the palace to our advantage! So it is in the palace! Is it? What's this all of a sudden? There's a way! A way to get past Akechi and get the mastermind to lay off of us all, all while learning his identity! Really? You gotta be kidding me! If he wants to kill Weibo, why not let him? That is, inside the palace! Yes! My stupid theory was right! I don't really know how, but it was right the whole stupid time! <laughs> So, oh man, so I'm kind of confused. It was like several theories were right, all just kind of like combined somehow. Because I was like, the guards are real, and they did come in, they did bring me out of the palace, I assume, but then we get them to go back into the palace somehow? I guess it's a, uh, oh, oh, of course. It was the phone. It triggered it. That was um when the weird kind of ness happened. And um, when Sai went with a catchy and it had the little pink sort of like distortion was when it changed into the palace again. And so when he killed me, he just killed me in the palace. Or he killed like my shadow or something. And therefore I didn't die. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive Weibo all the while, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it. It seems that's our only option. I'm surprised he didn't notice that then. He seems pretty smart. Well, besides uh, <laughs> being so obvious about the pancakes thing. I mean, I guess I didn't realize it, you know, at first either. So I can't really blame him too much. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. Okay, okay, it all makes sense now. Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. It's not gonna be solved, assholes. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Okay, yeah, so Drew's in on it too. Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. Yeah, it probably is for the best, so he doesn't think that doesn't think that I'm dead. I'm gonna fetch him. You're her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Ah, oh, good. You're apologizing for that. Eh, it's ancient history now. He did kind of save our ass and all. Man, that goddamn detective. <laughs> yeah. Look who's here. Ah, oh, yay. Hey, <laughs> you big bastard. <laughs> oh, thank God. How have you been? Pretty good. I mean, I died. <laughs> Ghostly. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> You're not floating. It truly is a relief to see your face. Are you seriously gonna make some stupid freaking puns after dying? I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Hopefully not. He did seem a little suspicious though, I feel like, after like the pink thing happened. I felt like uh, he was suspicious of touching the phone, but I guess it worked anyways without him doing it. So that's, that's good. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? Oh, yeah, I thought he was. I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> it was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. Okay, so he didn't know. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, 
Shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? The full story. We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Yeah. Uh, enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's all very confusing. The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. That piece of shit. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Yes, he was too suspicious. Akechi messed up. <laughs> He's messed up, man. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. Started talking about some pancakes, made him super sketchy. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. So smooth. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. Yeah, but it worked out somehow. Yeah, I'm curious to see how we even take him down. Because, yeah, it's not like he has a palace or anything. I guess we just have to kind of like, uh, I don't know, track him down maybe? Get the jump on him while he's trying to kill somebody else? I assume he's going to continue killing people, you know? God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. Talked about some delicious pancakes. You mean a cat? <laughs> yes, Morgana can talk. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You don't know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, um. Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Now maybe you'll give me sushi when I ask for it, old man. Does that mean he said something just now as well? I can talk behind your back all I want to, Sai. But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. <laughs> something like that. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. Yeah. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. The pancakes. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that <laughs> huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. <laughs> I feel like they do keep re-showing this scene so much. It was the pancakes. It was the pancakes. It was the pancakes. All this talk of pancakes makes me want to go to IHOP. Is this paid promotion? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Damn you, Keji. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. What a dumbass. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. Mm -hmm. We got lucky. His story was too good. We got lucky. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. We're geniuses! Well, I am. That's why we asked Vitabachan to wiretap his phone. Yeah, it makes sense that Morgana would be the one to pick up on that as well, since he was the one who said the line. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, oh. but I was actually planting my app. Ah, smart Futaba. I thought that scene was kind of weird too, but I was like, yeah, Futaba's kind of an odd one. Seems pretty normal for her to do something like that. <laughs> My heart was pounding while I was doing it though. Oh, you did a good job. Even I believe you. detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act. After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace yeah. and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. Little fucking shoe weebo in a stupid face. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. 
I'll deal with them after that. And by deal, I mean fucking kill them. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? <laughs> yep. Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Yep. Is this for real? Ah, oh, it's a good thing that he wanted such a specific room, so he knew which one to kind of like uh, mess with, I guess. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> He's so cold while saying this, too. Like, yeah, we'll have to kill the guard, too. Who lived a perfectly normal life and seemed like a good fellow, but, you know, for justice or something, I guess. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Yeah. Hopefully he made it safe. Well, then. I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely. But to think he was this far gone. I guess he does enjoy the credit and like the uh, fame that he gets from it. I guess that could have uh, incited him to want to do this as well. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. He's a fucking basket case. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. Yeah, seriously. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. Do we hear his conversation with Shido afterwards? I wonder. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? Yeah, I would like to know too. Did we, did we successfully change our heart or not? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. Yeah, I guess we changed her since she does seem to be a lot better now. What conditions? And she was willing to work with me. First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. Okay. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That's true. <laughs> that brings back memories. We had no idea. Not till we got to school. Oh man, the good times. The good old you days. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. I'm just gonna ignore that, dude. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoda brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. New waifu. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. It was a great idea. It was reckless. We had to trust it. Great idea. Very smart. Yeah. It's good we have her heading up our operations. Yeah, it's nice to see we all contributed to this, uh, this operation. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. <laughs> I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. He was kind of a dick to me at the beginning of the game. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. Happy you're better now, Sai. I do like you a lot. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> nice work. There were two things we were able to confirm while <laughs> we were checking the metaverse. <laughs> oh, I like the pictures. <laughs> nice. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Okay. Only in the interrogation room? Interesting. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Okay. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. 
There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. Yeah, since they looked the same. They looked no different from actual living people. Yep. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping it catchy in the dark. We got him good. Okay, everything makes sense. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. God, he looks so cocky over there, thrusting his freaking pelvis out, just thinking, oh, I can't wait to kill Weibo. He's too handsome, I can't be outshined in this game. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Ah, so we actually did fail. Except that was all an act. Oh, never mind. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand, and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Okay, I was actually wondering why it was in a briefcase. I didn't uh, think to question it too much, just because I was like, well, I guess she did hide her original treasure, so maybe it isn't a briefcase this time. But I knew it was like a notebook or something, so I was like, eh, it's a little bit weird, but whatever. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. Yep. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. <laughs> what a dumbass. Although I guess our elaborate plan is basically to uh, defeat his elaborate plan. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? That's kind of what I was thinking, because he said specifically he wanted to use that room, so I don't know if we really just got lucky with it uh, looking the same, or uh, we kind of like persuaded him, him to like want that room somehow, I don't know. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. <laughs> I love the drawings. <laughs> Did Futaba make those? I wanted it to be dramatic. Asking her about it now would drive the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Okay, cool. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace <laughs> and left thinking he had been victorious. <laughs> oh my god, his little drawing looks so fucking evil. He's got shark teeth. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. <laughs> that is pretty great. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that <laughs> quiet chamber. <laughs> you bet your ass I was. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Man, that is such a risky plan though at the same time. I am happy that everything's being cleared up though, especially like the metaverse, real world sort of like um situation that was going on. I was very confused on it. I guess I was like... Kind of right, but wrong about the metaverse thing. I guess I was mostly wrong about it. Because, yeah, they brought me into the real world, but then we went back into the metaverse when Akechi killed me. So so I was right about us. Well, no, no, I was wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, I was wrong about it. But then we actually did go to the metaverse for a little bit. So was I truly right all along? No, no, you weren't. Shut up, Morgana. I was. Maybe. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Oh, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. It was awesome. I couldn't see it either. There was no time. I'm just glad I didn't die. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. <sighs> so in other words, I've been to the metaverse. Albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. Makes sense. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really awkward. Huh. Astounding. Nice, what a good plan. Albeit reckless. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. Yeah, I wonder if there is like a bad end if you don't say the right stuff. I assume as much. <laughs> True. 
Especially since it was like, uh, are you sure you want to rat out your friends? Like, I feel like that definitely was like a bad ending of some sort. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. Yeah. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. But we made it. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? <laughs> not really. I was, not at all. Don't remember, drugs. <laughs> not at all. Then it truly was a do or die situation? That's crazy. Just thought I'd be honest. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. And you did it. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. I think I'm starting to kind of kind of understand this slowly but surely. So Weebo's not dead. Correct. But what did you do about the body? Yeah. The police never even checked it. Oh. Huh? That's weird. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. Their plotting is leading to their downfall. <sighs> the bad guys have that much influence? Yeah, pretty much. Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. That sick piece of shit. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. That's good. Now we got the upper hand. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. Yeah, they really beat the shit out of me. The callous use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal. Yeah, for real, they were really fucked up. If he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. For real. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. Yeah, I know, right? I want to get revenge on those cops. It was close. I don't remember much. It was a breeze. <laughs> it was close. I almost became one of your assailants as well. Yeah. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. Yeah, I know the reactions were so good. I was like, well, why would they act like, uh, like they're shocked if they're not really? They would just have, like, a straight face and be like, oh, yeah, we got him. So that was what was really making me think, like, maybe this is just a really long bad end this whole time. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well... I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. <laughs> Can it, cat? <laughs> Come on, man, let's just celebrate our victory. I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. Yeah. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head command. Since the plan was so risky, they probably were all really, uh, initially very worried, but then kind of found out. Eventually, you know, hey, it worked out. And uh, yeah, of course, Ryuji's so carefree that he's just immediately like, oh yeah, we did it. We both totally not dead. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Yeah. Very well. 
From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. Yeah, I'm glad you finally joined us, Sai. I really do like Sai for some reason. <laughs> Even though she's done a lot of bad things in uh, the series, there's something about her I just really like. I can't really put my finger on it. I guess I just kind of find her interesting. I find her story interesting. I find her characterization to be like uh, pretty unique, so. I don't know, I just, I really like her, so I'm happy, and happy that she's helping us now. You saved me, after all. Yeah. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is poop. <laughs> Same, honestly. I was so confused for so long. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together and talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Are you sure? Uh -huh. This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. <laughs> Very true. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Uh, maybe one day it'll become really popular. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. <laughs> yeah. Aw, yay, everything worked out. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press the triangle button to open the menu, then select story from another system option. Already read this before, like 20 times. Oh, Shido. <laughs> Weibo news. That sounds familiar. Huh. It's me, Akechi. Yeah, what am I gonna do about school and stuff? Cause like, um, I can't really go back there, right? Since they uh, figured out my identity. I know the rest of the world doesn't know, but, um, Shido knows, so if they found out I was going back to school, I feel like they would be like, Oh, wait, fuck, we didn't kill him! Is he gonna kill Akechi too when he finds out he didn't do it? Enter. Ah, oh, man. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? See what you guys are scheming. No, nothing in particular. More importantly, You've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room too. Oh, he was such a good guy. It's too bad he had to fucking die. I'm not sad about it though. Look at my face. Who would think somebody so cute could be so evil? The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any <laughs> rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom God, Thieves. you're so full of shit. Is that like what his whole game was the whole time, just to get fame? All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. Uh. <laughs> I'm scared this guy is gonna get elected before we can, uh, take him down, you know? I mean, guess either way, we, uh, still have a chance to win, but... And on to our next story. The snap election for the House of Representatives. Definitely don't want to be, uh, ruled under him, you know? Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in him yet anyways. <laughs> I think it does matter a little bit to us, Ryuji. I think it does. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him. Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. Okay, yeah, she did hear that. He said, Shido-san. Okay, good. I was curious about that. Shido? Feels like I heard that somewhere. Yep. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Hope the TV's still on the background so they'll just be like, Oh, Shido-san, we love him so much! Oh my god, he's so beautiful! Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? It is such a coincidence that Weibo had like a confrontation with him at the very, very beginning of the game, or like even before the game started in the flashback. I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? He said his speech was too loud. For real? Yeah, for real. It's like his catchphrase. It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? 
Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. Yep, profiting off of our decline. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. Yeah. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? huh? What is the matter? You know him? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this. I mean, have you guys seen his face? He looks like fucking Xehanort. Just based on the connections I had from my previous job. Oh, previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably uh, she. Oh, yeah. I guess Akechi was the one who killed her, too. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Nice. Why didn't you say that sooner? <laughs> Seriously. You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Yeah, extremely dangerous. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. Okay. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. Yeah, crazy. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. <laughs> yep, just had to rig a bunch of shit. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We gotta stop that. The issue is simpler than that. Like, even if we change his heart after he becomes the Prime Minister, it's like, I wonder how much damage he could do just being the Prime Minister for like a couple of months. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Yeah. He's definitely got a palace, come on. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Got a hit! <laughs> well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. <laughs> yeah. God, that's gotta be a big ass palace. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. Yeah. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? I'm not 100% sure. I, I think I might have an idea, but I'm not, not completely sure. What options will they give me? The Diet Building, a fancy restaurant, election headquarters, the Diet Building? I'll go with the Diet Building. Okay, that was it. Got a hit. How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? <laughs> what a douchebag, too. He, like, sees himself as, like, the ruler of the Diet Building when he literally had to, like, set up all this mental shutdown stuff just in order to get elected or to become, like, the uh, primary candidate. Couldn't do it on his own. We have to. What about Akechi? Let's kill that asshole. Yeah, what are we gonna do about him? We need to waste time with him. We just gotta hit the head. Um, I feel like that's a mistake. Nobody against it? Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. I don't know. I feel like we should uh, focus on Akechi more, too. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. Okay. 
It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Yeah. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, they gotta find out eventually that I'm not dead. <laughs> like, I know like, you know, we made it out pretty easily with the fake uh, death certificate and stuff, but, but they're definitely gonna have to find out at some point that, uh, hey, <laughs> Weibo's body's disappeared. What, what happened there? That reminds me, what are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> also was thinking about that. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. Yeah, seriously. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Oh, I thought that was still the main purpose. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives and even made Goro Akechi a student assist him with assassinations. Yeah, he's pretty fucked up. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. Oh damn, we're gonna kill him? We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. <laughs> nice. Everybody will be on our side again. You guys thought through all this stuff too? Oh, he's gonna be so pissed. We're intellectuals, you know. Maybe, maybe not Ryuji, but all the rest of us are. Shut up, cat. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. <laughs> but the true battle has only just begun. Yeah. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. Yeah. Sounds good. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Two and a half years. Back then, you earned the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. This all started because of like your lack of self-confidence. Damn, I suck. I gotta rig some shit in order to win. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. Oh, okay, maybe to backlash against that. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. I don't know, I'm like really sketched out by Akechi. I feel like we should be focusing on him more too. He seems really dangerous. Especially like his previous knowledge of the metaverse and all that. I don't know, I feel like he's almost like a bigger threat to me. I don't know why. I just get that kind of feeling from him. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. And also because like he can't have a palace since he already has a persona, so it's like how do we how do we stop him? I guess Shido is like the biggest threat at the moment, but I really don't think we should ignore Akechi for too long. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? Yeah, yeah, he is doing the psychotic psychotic breakdowns too. And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. I kind of feel like there is. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. Is it really? I feel like that could be the case, but I'm... I still don't trust you, even now that I know you're evil, Akechi. I don't even trust you being evil. You're always scheming something. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Always scheming something in my eyes. Well... My faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Ah, uh, okay. It makes sense why he'd want to get rid of Futaba's mom. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Uh... Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. Damn. After all... We had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side, until recently. 
Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. God, they suck so bad. You know, I was really shitting on the SAE director, but I kind of feel a little bad for him. I mean, like, he totally brought it on himself working with them. But he still did get, like, completely screwed over. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. <laughs> This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I guess you really do believe in whatever you preach. So that's interesting to know. You believe in it so much you're willing to do all this fucked up shit for it. I guess that could be a catchy's inspiration as well, but I don't know, I just like, uh... I feel like Akechi's one of those characters who's always, like, scheming something, you know? I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Eh. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Are <laughs> you sure about that, buddy? Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which yeah. is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. Damn. And thus, the charismatic ace detective was born. <laughs> God, everything's fucking fake. Yeah, literally. Just fucking fake the whole time. Just setting people up and then becoming the greatest detective of all time because of it. Uh. Thanks to your efforts. My clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. Yeah. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. God, it's so crazy how I literally just followed like a trend and was able to get supporters because of that. I feel like it is kind of like a commentary on like society in a way. Like um, people like supporting politicians for like completely bogus reasons or like for really uninformed reasons. Like, I don't know. I feel like uh, they do do a good job kind of like emphasizing that with this whole scenario. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up, and they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> Can I laugh evilly too, Akechi? The time has finally come. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. Yeah. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. Oh no. Like, what is his plan? He does seem to believe in whatever uh, he's doing, but I'm very, very scared because of all the fucked up stuff he's done so far. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. Huh. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. And then I'm just gonna nuke everyone. Oh, great plan, Prime Minister. Uh public resonates with my ideals and follows me. Nah, they're just kind of following a trend. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the chosen one. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. Okay, maybe this is what he's going for then. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. <laughs> it's so like, I don't know, weird to me when it looks cute like that. But he's like spouting out a bunch of evil shit. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. God, I'm such a good person. <laughs> Whatever you have to tell yourself at night to make you feel better, Ketchy. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. God. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. 
I am uh. thinking about the future, though. <laughs> he's totally scheming something. I don't know. I feel like he's definitely scheming something against Shido. There's gotta be something else. I definitely, definitely feel it. I don't even trust a catchy when he's evil. That's how a sketchy he is. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. <laughs> even when he's doing evil shit, I'm like, nah, he's gotta be worse. <laughs> don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. Will it? And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. <laughs> he can just die for all I care. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well... <laughs> Looks like things looks like things have finally settled down. Life's gonna get real busy for you starting tomorrow, right? Get some rest. Well then. The chief's right. Let's hit the hay. Okay, I'm gonna talk to some of you guys since uh, it seemed pretty important. Tell me more about our plan, <laughs> Futaba. Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. How so? I'm not interested. I am. <laughs> well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. Now what could I do with that info? <laughs> I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sain Ijima who had your phone ran into Akechi. Okay, cool. That's when I saw my chance and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse Navigator. Oh, okay, cool. That makes sense. I was kind of wondering how it like activated kind of like all of a sudden like that. Figured there was a reason for it. Like maybe, maybe the app just kind of like would, <laughs> I don't know, randomly activate, but it makes sense that she would be the one to purposefully do it. God, you're so smart, Futaba. But there was the chance they'd just pass each other without saying a single word. That's why we needed you to tell Sainijima to show the phone to Akechi. This plan still surprises me no matter how many times I hear it. I know, right? God, it was so complicated. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse nav. It's a mysterious app after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I was thinking he had to, like, touch the phone. I can't remember if they did say that or not. Like, if I just kind of latched on to that idea. That was one of the reasons I was so convinced we lost at first. Because I was like, no, no, he didn't touch it. Damn it. Touch it. Touch the damn phone, Akechi. Throw it at him, Sai. I don't care what you have to do. Just do it. Mwahaha. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. You're a genius, Futaba. Now let's go make out. <laughs> right in front of Sojuro and Morgana. I want them to watch. Oh my god. Well, that reminds me, your relationship with Akechi unexpectedly grew stronger, didn't it? <laughs> that was pretty weird. You guys are biffles now, though, I guess. Even though Akechi was talking to the fake you at the time. What do you mean? That's true. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to the fake me. Wow, cognitive dead Weibo is now best friends with Akechi. I'm not, though. Akechi met the cognitive you in the palace. I don't know what he said to that version of you in there, but we should make sure... But we should make use of it. This. But we should make use of this. And if nothing else, it shows our operation was a smashing success. Yeah. What do you gotta say, Sojuro? Yeah. Oh, by the way, the police report on your death isn't gonna show up at your school. No need to worry. Seems Prosecutor Nijima worked out some kind of deal with the higher-ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me yet. As long as you stay quiet, you'll be fine. I guess if they reported your death now, they'd basically be saying you're a phantom thief. They can't really go announcing what the phantom thieves are, so I'm sure they'll they'll avoid that. Yeah, I kind of figured they might want to keep our identities a secret and stuff. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and I end the video for here. Oh my god, what a crazy ride all of that was. Even though before I mentioned I didn't really want Akechi to be the black mask guy or the traitor, because I felt like it was kind of too obvious. I felt like even though he did end up being both, they still did a pretty good job doing it since um, there were so many other like mysteries kind of surrounding it. I kind of feel like I would have been overwhelmed if they wouldn't have... Uh, made it kind of obvious in a way. Really was like the whole plan in that situation that really, really threw me for a loop. Oh my gosh. I was so, so confused for so long. Starting to think like Weibo was actually dead. I was like, God, am I, am I seriously gonna have to play as Futaba? <laughs> she does have an Ahoge, I'm pretty sure. You have an Ahoge, right, Futaba? Hey. Yeah, you do. Not that that really matters for a Persona game anyways, but yeah, no. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to Shido's palace and uh, how we end up taking down Akechi. I really do feel like we should focus on him a bit more. But uh, I understand that the Shido thing's, I guess, a bit more pressing at the moment. But I don't know, some of me does think Akechi's kind of scheming something behind Shido's back even. 
But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please leave a like or a comment if you did. And I will see you guys real soon.